Hello guys, I'm finally back with a new tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make a chapter 2 dessert, and it's extremely easy. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, or are returning, feel free to like and subscribe to show some support. It genuinely really helps me out. And if you wish to further support me my creator code will be in the comments. Now enjoy the video. Here are the pieces you'll need, these new sand pieces, the sand floor piece and the zero point crystals and crystal trees. Ok so first off, we're going to start by making our terrain. For the terrain we're going to build up the sand in layers, so we will start off placing the new sand slope pieces and make the ground layer. When making the layer, I like to keep the terrain constantly turning and winding. You don't want it to be straight and boring. I've sped the clip up so that you can see how I build with these pieces. Experiment with these pieces if you're not comfortable using them. Now once you've finished your outline, you want to place your floor pieces connecting to the slope pieces like I do. Fully size up your floor piece, and match the height with the sand pieces. I use grid snap 32 for my floor pieces, and you'll notice I haven't finished my outline, I'll do that next. So here's my outline for the first layer of sand. Now do whatever you want for the outside of your dessert biome, you can add a cliff edge to it, blend it in, do whatever, but I'm quickly placing floor pieces for mine just so the tutorial is quicker. It's down to personal preference. I've finished the edge of my chapter 2 styled dessert, but before we move on to the next layer, I want to say how much I like these new sand pieces. They blend together so naturally and have huge potential for builds. Thank you Epic. Anyway back to building. For this layer we are going to do the same, but make a new outline and don't copy the bottom one. This will make the sand feel more natural which is a really good thing. Like I said, if your build isn't turning out like this tutorial or how you want it to do, simply practice building with it. It might take time but if you practice you'll be able to build amazing terrain. Feel free to check out any of my other tutorials if you need help with anything. Here's another time lapse just for the, the people who want to see how I build the terrain and might need more help. Once your second outline's all done, simply fill it all in. Simple. If you're making a larger dessert maybe even try 4 or 5 layers. And here's the finished sand, it looks really smooth and natural. Thanks again Epic for the new pieces, we're going to see some amazing sand themed maps in the future now. Onto the zero point crystals, I like to place the large ones first. Size up one of the crystals, we will only have a couple large ones. Place them so they are pointing away from the ground and also experiment with these. Now I'm going to place a smaller one next to it. What I recommend doing is getting pictures of the chapter 2 dessert and using them as reference images when placing your crystals. Make them randomly sized, rotate them randomly, just experiment and have fun. And now onto the trees, we only want a couple of crystal trees placed, so make sure to spread them out. I also like to place this rock shaped crystal near the trees for extra detail. Again mess around with the pieces and the size of it. And place the small trees just like how we did with the large ones. And here's our sand and dessert together with different lighting, it looks great. Finally I'll show you how I made the clock tower building, if you remember in season 5 some old buildings were rifted into the desert. I took the broken clock tower prefab, and the non broken one but only kept the top half of the non broken one. Place the broken tower onto the desert. And then place the other section into the sand as if it's broken off. And here's the final result. I added some more rifted in stuff such as the blue depot building, and der burger head. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, again feel free to show any support. 
thank you for making it to this point and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.